is ramble suit, but here we are. I love podcasts so much. Connectively, connectedly, we were. I don't even know if that's a that's not a word. I'm a lover, a friend. In like you know your virtual reality concert, you just hit the eject button, you're back at home. Uh, a jokester. A heartbreaker. My name is Jackson Wynn, a.k.a. Jazzy Dan, a friend to all. Him and I, along with two other comrades, G. Vindicate, also known as Gavin the Great, and Alexander Frieden, uh, we write songs on a weekly basis, two days a week, here in B6, and uh, we share the producing, the singing, we share the, uh, the guitars, the drums, everything. We share e- each other. I guess you could say <laughs> it's very fresh baby so we're still like ironing out a name and all that stuff it's a fresh baby i like that that's like something we could use it's a fresh baby it's a fresh baby ready for the oven i'm n- i'm not even sure <laughs> album name song name i love podcasts so much almost more than anything else in life more than except music, music. <laughs> more than I know for a fact that I love interviews and podcasts and just I get inspired by simple people things. And it's fun to listen to. And they're not too long. Some of them go about like, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. What microphone they use to like, you know, mm, what <laughs> to like what strings are on their guitar or like, I don't know, like what pickups they're using or what preamps they were, what compressors, you know, what what were they thinking? Like, you know. Just to hear somebody break down like, hey, I was having a bad day and my tire fucking blew out. Um, my girlfriend broke up with me. Like, uh, what was going on in their, you know, family life at the time that, like, you know, inspired this verse, you know? And I think that'd be really cool to, just, like, you know, see just how much... Can I swear on this? How much, <laughs> I'm just kidding. How much fucking work goes into... A <laughs> how much fucking work goes into just, like, one song? Um... So, yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. You set the <laughs> rules for, like, you know, someone who doesn't know uh, a lot about how music's made, just to see how it everything just comes to fruition. And Corona came along, and we should have started this show. I'm sorry, what's that? <laughs> right. so this, we should have started the show back in February, but it's now middle of the summer, and we're just getting around to it. So There were up and downs. There was parts of it where it was really cool and relaxing, and then there's parts where it was like, man, I, I guess I like people more than I thought. Um... I was sad about John Prine passing. Yeah, that was that was that was a hard hitter. It it was great to just hone in on your art. Difficult at first because I feel like the whole world was in a panic, and I feel like we're all connected. And I feel like connectively, connectedly, we were. I don't even know if that's a that's not a word. We were all in a mental state of just uh, maybe some depression, you know, and other things, a p- little bit, a uh, little bit of rage and whatnot. Sometimes, you know, that can be a good thing when it comes to writing, you know, what you're feeling in that moment. You know, if you put it on a page, put it in a song, it can come out great. But for a minute, there was a little uninspiring to write anything, just because of, you know, the whole world just going to shit for like a month and a half the beginning of it I literally did not leave my house because I bought like groceries at the beginning of it because I like kind of freaked out but uh yeah I didn't leave my house for like a month and a half and that was weird and it was like a month and a half before I realized I hadn't left my house I was like this is fucking weird like how you know what I mean like I haven't seen anybody I don't know how to explain it's not for everyone (laughs) yeah I'm waiting for Netflix 2 to come out um (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I think, I mean, before the pandemic, who was it? Like Marshmello was doing concerts that hundreds of thousands of people, I think, were attending on Fortnite. And it was like a thing. And I was like, what? But hopefully we will never forget how amazing it is to crowd surf. If you start having a bad trip in like you know your virtual reality concert, you just hit the eject button, you're back at home. Or you just hit the off button. Whatever. You know? (laughs) 
It's crazy that we're talking about this like we know it's going to happen. B6, baby. Find me at Jackson Wynn, at Jackson Wynn, J A double X O N W Y N N. I'm here for your fantasies. Shout out to me on Instagram, uh, The Weapon. The That's weapon. T underscore H underscore E underscore Weapon. <laughs> Isn't there an underscore between E and Weapon? The, e, e, there is. Yeah, I fucked up. Sorry. Yeah. No, 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 no. They got to type. They got to type an underscore in between each. I'm just kidding. Shout out to Geo, Gavin, Joey, and fucking uh, Alexander Frito. Take care of